All right, Santa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. how are you doing today? We're doing great. So we just did a video to answer all of the kids' questions. But over the years, you've been around the block once or twice. So a lot of the adults still kind of find you very mysterious. Some of them do, yes. And they haven't really met you, you know, other than maybe like a glimpse when they were a kid or at a shopping mall or whatnot. Now, they have some questions for you. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm sure they do. So, some of them. And I'm not sure that I can answer them. Well, we'll see. So a lot of the people, you know, they're older now, so they have politically minded questions. Okay. And the first question is, what are your thoughts on the radio ban of Christmas songs and the reason behind the bands? I don't believe there are any valid reasons to not play music on the radio. <coughs> Especially Christmas music. <coughs> yeah, they're, they're songs of love. Now, what do you think of people being offended by the term Merry Christmas and saying Happy Holidays instead? I would say that if people don't want to wish or receive a Merry Christmas, don't listen. I don't believe wishing someone a Merry Christmas is anything bad about that. You're just sp spreading joy to people. Because Christmas is a time of love. And we're wishing you love. Okay. By saying Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's a good answer. It's hard to argue that, but there are some people that, you know, there's no pleasing everyone, there's, right? There are some people that argue about everything. And unfortunately, they, they live here, they have a right to be here. Whether they have a right or not to tell you or anyone else what to say or how to say it, I don't believe that is correct. Yeah, that's a good answer. Now, what's your thoughts on people saying? Because you've been accused and attacked over the years by adults. Many times. Now, What's your opinion on when people have the accusation saying that you promote drinking and driving because you have a beer on the sleigh ride or you have a beer before you leave or something like that? What are your thoughts on that? Honest to God, it's true as I'm sitting here. I don't drive and drink or drink and drive. If I'm going to drink when I'm driving, I have a hot chocolate. And your sleigh is automatic, and it's being driven by the reindeers too, right? That's right. You don't steer it, and you don't break it. And with technology these days, I'm not sure the technology on the sleigh, but I have heard that there's a lot of advancements on the sleigh. There's it's got GPS, and you got tracking now, and you got all kinds of new toys. Hold it, hold it, hold it, Mr. McDonald. You're just going by hearsay on what's... TV and, and movies and that. I'm old school. If I want to find something, I go to it because I know where exactly where it is. It's almost like magic. I don't drink alcohol and drive. I'm drinking alcohol now. My friend Albert made it for me. But I'm not driving my sleigh tonight. It's true. When I leave here, I walk out your door, or you walk out the side door, and I get picked up. No sleigh and drive. No sleigh and drive. Yeah. And not only that, when I get into the seat of whatever vehicle,
there's a bed in there for me to, if I'm tired for sleep, washer, and they hand me a drink. VIP for Santa. That's right. And I believe that I'm worth it. Well, Steve from Bowmanville, Ontario asks, do you prefer milk and cookies or beer and titties? Steve, I know Steve from way back when, and he's a steel worker, and I know he's laughing in his boots right now because he knows what my answer would be. And I'm going to level with you. It's a close, it's a close stretch there, but I like my milk and cookies. I like the titties. <laughs> I really like the titties, but I can't have the titties with me in the sleigh. But I can have the milk and cookies in the sleigh and the hot chocolate. He also asks. Does Mrs. Claus still honk on your candy cane? <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know what you mean, Steve. I didn't know my candy cane had a horn. Okay, so the next question that's being asked is, how have you adapted to gender fluidity and the 50 billion genders that exist every day or are you still addressing people as male and female like the bigot trash you probably are? <laughs> who, who said that? That's Martin. Oh, Martin. I, if I don't know a person, I call him sir or madam. Because when I look at a person, I evaluate to myself if they're male or female and if that's a lack of respect then you don't respect yourself now all over the world many different countries they're adapting and legalizing marijuana um, so are you excited about people leaving you edibles like weed cookies and brownies I'm not excited but Rudolph is Rudolph? Rudolph is. He likes that hydroponics, uh, he, eh? He, 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 got, he got munching in a marijuana patch or whatever you call it. And uh, for, 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 for a week, he couldn't get off his back. He just laying there, pumping his legs up and down and just laughing his horns off. Wow. Never would have pictured Rudolph doing that. Well, he, he can be a little stinker at times. Do you have a favorite Christmas drink? Yes. What would that be? Coke. Coke? Yeah. Just a tad of rum. Just a little bit? Yeah. Dash of rum, dash of Coke? Well, no. Two fingers of rum, a dash of Coke. You don't want to kill the rum. Do you have any celebrity crushes, Santa? No. Not one? I love everybody. What's your favorite Christmas song? Jingle Bells. You like Jingle Bells. But a close second is I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe. No one's kissed me under the mistletoe. Not, not this Christmas season. Well, I haven't gone by yet. You haven't, you haven't what? Haven't gone by yet. Remember that, eh, Brenda? Got that mistletoe handy, right? Yeah, damn right. Steve, I want you to be in bed. Now, have you ever backhanded a child who woke up while you were dropping your Christmas presents off? No. Did you ever want to? No. Because they're children. They're excited. They want to see me. But they're afraid to see me because if they do, they know that I'm not going to drop off the gifts. Or if I already dropped off the gifts, they're going to melt away. Good point. Now, how do you weave in and out of traffic? Is there a lot of traffic on Christmas Eve? Do you ever get stuck in traffic? Never. Never? Never. 
Do you understand people's frustration about traffic these days? No, I don't. Because I don't, I've never been stuck in traffic, so. But I understand why they get angry, but I don't know why they, they would let simple thing like stuck in traffic make them frustrated. What's the best tips that you can give us on how people can deal with stress over the holiday season? <laughs> what stress? So for people who are experiencing the stress, would you recommend anything? Any tips for them? Well, Steve already knows this, so I'll tell you. Well, it's not just Steve watching. You've got millions I of viewers know, saying I know, that. But, uh, I know... The steel workers, they know this already, but to relieve stress, go home and have sex. Okay? Now, Shane from New... New because it, it's love. Okay. And love release, releases stress. Okay. Now, Shane from Newcastle asks, do you ever give Mrs. Claus anal? No. I don't believe in that. Don't believe in it, okay? Um, and Steve, you're on my naughty list now. Dev, do you hate Jesus trying to steal your spotlight on your big day? No. Because it's his big day. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas movie, Santa? Well, what do you think there, Miss McDonald? What do you think my favorite um, movie would be? I don't know. Christmas movies. How about uh, Miracle on 34th Street? And um, you also like. Do you like Frosty the Snowman, the cartoon one? I like it, yes. Yeah. It's not my favorite. No. I don't know what your favorites are. I don't have a specific favorite, favorite. I love all the movies that portray love. What's your favorite TV show, Santa? I don't know. You don't watch a lot of TV probably, in the North probably, Pole? Probably, uh, I was going to say news, but they don't tell me good stuff. I I, I really don't. Okay. I, well, might, you... I might, might, might watch TV once or twice a year. Okay. Have you ever been bit by a dog? No. Never? No. They love me, too. They love you, too. Huh. Uh, what's your favorite sports team? Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto Blue Jays. Wow. And I got another one. Toronto Maple Leafs. Wow. And because they're good hockey players, good baseball players. And hopefully one day they'll prove that they're the best. But <laughs> it might be another 640 years yet. True, true. Now, how has technology changed the North Pole over the years? Have you made any technological changes throughout the facility? Well, yeah. Now, now my elves, they, they don't get tired putting nuts and bolts together. They, they got impact guns and, 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 and putting little, roo little roofs on, on, on the, the doll houses and that. They got those little guns for that. <laughs> you know, and... It makes it a lot easier for the yells. It doesn't make it faster. But it makes it easier for them. Do you ever have... Um, have you adapted with technology over the years? Because you have a lot of stuff now, like video games that are all digital and stuff like that. We don't make those. You don't do it, eh? No, we don't. We don't. We build toys. We don't build... Cars. We don't build cameras. We don't build stuff like that. Well, you don't build cameras. I'm surprised about that. No, we don't. We don't. If little Johnny down the road wants wants a camera, he sends me a letter. He wants a camera for Christmas. One of the elves phones his mom and dad and says. Johnny wants a camera for Christmas. Is he allowed one? 
And whatever the answer is, if it's yes, he gets a camera. If it's no, he, he doesn't. So really. But Santa Claus just phones up the company and says, I need 7,000 7, cameras. 752 cameras or whatever the number is. It's interesting. I would have never thought you have to make good deals with these companies. Or? Yes, we do. We make terrific deals. You going to ask me what the deals are? If you want to share the details, Santa, you well, can I'm share them. It. Okay. I'm not allowed. It's under contract. Copyright infringement? Yeah, something like that. But it's, it's all under a handshake. That's good. They want to be anonymous. Now, what would you like to say to all the adults who've asked you all these questions today? Well, some of them are very good questions. Some of them are idiotic <laughs> <laughs> True. Not all of them were good questions, eh? And, and for those of you who ask the idiotic questions, what can I say? You've got to be idiots. But not you, Steve. He's a steel worker. He's a steel worker. Steel workers aren't idiots. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas all!